Here we go, another Tuesday, which means a brand new update for Fortnite, and this one is a doozy. Who even says a doozy anymore? Anyway, we're starting this off by checking out the brand new location, which is right over here by Sanctuary. There's actually two different spots here. This is like a concert stage summer platform kind of thing. We're gonna go ahead and check it out, but this actually is leading into something else, something really big. Let's go ahead and aim our drop real fast, and we are good to go. So you can see that this this uh, floating stage, I would call it, is under construction. We might be getting a concert or something like that. That's up for speculation. But what we do know is that the No Sweat Summer Update will be happening next Tuesday on July 19th. That is correct. So this is kind of setting the stage for that, literally. And as you know, the summer updates are always hype. Lots of new skins. I think there will probably be some free skins you can unlock and some free backlings, pickaxes, and all that good stuff. For now, this is just a really good spot to get some metal and to maybe get like one chest. I don't know. There's not much loot here. There's a pizza box over there. Remember when pizza was in the game? Can you still eat it? You cannot eat it. Okay. Good to know. Oh, is there loot on these like little platforms here? I don't think there is. Look at this guy running over here. Where are you going, Midas? He's already ready for summer. Look at him. Ah, ah. Give me that chest. Give me that loot. Give me that chest and give me that loot. See, so yeah, I'm pretty hyped for it. I always love the summer updates in Fortnite, and I think this one is going to be spectacular. I mean, it gives you something fun to do during the summer, you know? Believe it or not, that's not even the biggest update of this update. By the way, when are they ever going to open this door? I feel like this has to be something, right? Come on. There has to be a secret base or something underneath there. You already know. Oh, what the heck? You can't farm those? Good to know. Let's go over here, and this is the second stage. So there's going to be two of them. There'll probably be used for quests and... I don't know, something else. This one looks a little bit more elaborate, so I'm very interested to see what's gonna go down here. There's a zip line here, the shortest zip line ever. What the heck? I wanna try it. Oh my gosh, that was insane. That was insane. Best zip line experience of all time. Let's go ahead. Where does this go? This goes nowhere. You just taking a poop i guess oh and there's one chest over here too so there's i guess a chest on each at least that i could find which is uh <laughs> not a lot i definitely would not land here if you need loot if you're just coming to check it out definitely make it a pit stop but should be a place you land not at the moment not while it's under construction who knows when it's built up maybe it's gonna be absolutely insane maybe it's gonna be the best location to land on the map and when that time comes i will let you know but now for now that is not the time. We are moving now, but I'm getting strong chapter two, season three vibes from this. I mean, honestly, I like that water season a lot. I don't know if you guys remember, but way back in chapter two, season three, that's when the map was flooded and it was a lot of fun. As the weeks grew on, the map got less and less flooded. And honestly, it was just a really good memory for me. I had a lot of fun. Had a great, great time. Let's just harpoon a little bit more. We're gonna talk about some weapon changes here. So this two-shot shotgun was actually changed. They made it better. So when you shoot it, the second shot goes off faster. So that second shot now faster. It makes it a little bit better. Say if you're uh, in the build mode and you edit, you wanna shoot, you can maybe go for a quick double shot. Could be good now. Could be good. I'm still gonna stick with the striker. Even though the striker got nerfed, striker body damage is now lowered. So if you hit somebody in the body with the striker, it's gonna do less damage. The headshot will do the same though. But no, 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 you think they stopped there? The AH uh, got changed, the striker burst rifle. From a distance, it does less damage to the body and to the head. So just be mindful of those things. They don't make these weapons bad at all. Like they're still really great weapons, but they are changes. So just be aware of it. Now they did add a new weapon or rather they unvaulted a weapon we got the combat assault rifle which i think should have won the voting when we had it this thing is insane and i'm gonna show you how good it is truly this thing is just nutty it's nuts let's go ahead and take a rift let's move towards the zone here yeah this area is gonna go crazy did they i feel like they changed this area too yeah i feel like they're making this just like a fun boating area we're probably gonna have to use boats for challenges and like do races it's gonna be pretty sweet i don't know i've i've actually looking forward to it it's always fun when fortnite has some like amazing amazing updates okay and here's some shots in daily bugle so let's check it out yeah we got this unvaulted weapon we have the weapon changes we have the new location and the new summer update coming next week what else could there be that is so big that is such big news that it absolutely destroys everything i just talked about well it's actually something really really cool and it could also spell the end of fortnite in a certain way i'll explain that in a second before i do that i gotta take this guy out Ooh. Ooh. I was getting a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little risky, you know? 
Let's pop the minis. Pop the shield fish. Hold this wall. May build out a box. There you go. And he had a wonderful legendary combat assault rifle. You'd love to see it. Who's shooting at me right now? This guy over here? Oh, they changed the way this thing works, huh? It's actually better now, believe it or not. Okay, I'm going to take this. Got to show this guy not to mess with us, all right? Whee! Oh my goodness gracious. Honestly, he almost showed me not to mess with him. That was, uh, that was scary. Okay, I'm going to mark this so I can come get the uh, big pot later. And I'm going to drop my stinger for now. I think the combat assault rifle will kind of work as a stinger if I needed to. It's pretty much an SMG. I mean, it shoots really, really fast. Or at least I'm going to try to make it shoot fast. Let's pop these. Get this going. And we going to be all right. I don't have enough wood to stoke this thing. There we go. Okay, I think I'm just going to go ahead and splash. Because we're going to go get the minis anyway. So, revolver time, baby. Like, I had more loot, too. I'm just going to throw a piece of meat up there. Got my minis. Eat this meat. Let's see if this guy had anything else for me. He had some armored walls. And what is that? He had a mythic hammer. It's actually really good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this to just fly a little bit. Oh, shoot. I flew right into the mountain, but I'm good. Whee! Big jump. Could not reattach it. Okay. It's all right. We all good. So the major change that I wanted to talk about, it's actually an addition to the game. We've never seen this before. It's zero build arena until August 30th, 2022. The loot pool is the same as regular zero build. And there's actually kind of rewards for you to get uh, by playing it. So if you get to 400 height points, you get the drippy drift spray. If you get to contender league, you get the GG emoticon. And then if you get the champions league, you get the goticon emo so they're definitely incentivizing people to play no build arena it's kind of interesting because uh there's no siphon in it which means that when you eliminate players you don't get any help back so it's essentially just exactly like normal zero build just you know in a ranked format now i was kind of saying that this could be the end of fortnite now what did i mean by that i was saying that maybe it could be the end as in the end of the prime of fortnite competitive in terms of building no building came out not too long ago and it has been absolutely crushing it a lot of people love no build it's a lot of fun because you don't have to learn the building mechanic which takes a long time or could take a long time if you don't know what you're looking for and if you don't know what to practice no build is more simple it's just your knowledge of your map and then your uh aim really i mean knock this tree down took one down this guy's aiming over here somewhere to my right let me go up Ooh. I'm gonna throw this down real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and just grapple down. Ooh, that felt good. Gotta make sure I don't go down here, you know? So I'm definitely gonna give it a shot. Maybe in tomorrow's video, I'll try out the zero build arena mode, let you guys know how it is. But it's interesting that they're, you know, making it a thing. I think people wanted it and why not? I think they're gonna test the waters, see what's more popular, Fortnite with building or without building in terms of viewership and people entering the tournaments. And then from there, they're gonna kind of gauge what they wanna put their resources to. I'm just gonna assume. Of course, I'm not Fortnite. I don't know 100%. I can only guess, but I can make an educated guess. You know? Ooh, look at this spray. Ooh. You're not gonna get away from me, buddy. Come on. I've got this Spider-Man grappler glove thing, and I also got just the heart and soul of a lion, all right? Oh gosh, he's actually <gasps> how am I not dead? Shredded him a little bit. Hit him pretty hard, he hit me though. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Ooh, crushed them. Give me that purple pump too. Now, personally, for me, I love the building mode. I think it's a lot of fun. It's just such a good time. I think a lot of that is because I've gotten better at it. So I can totally understand why some people are frustrated when they play this. But it's definitely a, a learned thing, you know? I also think it kind of makes Fortnite Fortnite. But no build is really awesome. And I really enjoy playing it too. And I can see why people would like it. So this isn't an all or nothing subject. You can like both. That's the thing. So I'm curious. Let me know in the comment section, which one do you like better? No build or build? I think from this point on, we'll probably always have the two games modes well who knows what's gonna happen oh i'm swinging let's go up again knock down two trees on him one down oh we have the uh hit the med gun i'm just gonna grab that quick 
There we go. To run away from that tree that's falling. And we're just gonna run at this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. That was one of the best plays I've done in a minute. Not gonna lie. That guy got absolutely dumpstered. Absolutely bodied. This thing just, you let it fly, honestly. One down. We're going in here. Oh! You love to shoot. Well, I'm excited for next week's update. Gonna have a lot of new content here during the week, too. So make sure to subscribe with the bell. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. And let me know if you like build mode or no build more in the comments.